two more circle. Okay. So our again construct our element. Ugh, sorry, computer crash again. And it came back. Today computer crash a lot of times. Do you, do, does anyone have a spare? Sorry, double A battery with you. I I could borrow. You do? Extra marks on the table. Hey. Are there extra marks on the table? What? Are there extra marks on the table? Yeah. <laughs> you think we are Best Buy, you know? <laughs> you got a spare double A, not triple A, yeah. Thank you. That's one. I need one. Thank you. I'll come back and return it to you, okay? Okay. I ran out of battery. Right. So relating elements to mole circle. So first, we, I'm going to teach you how to relate using the normal stress. Okay, so I'm going to draw condition. So this is our X and Y. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have a few of these elements going around. So the first one that you can see down here is we have now stress X and stress Y, okay? And you can see that the arrows are pointing away, right? Right? So when that's the case, right? Stress X is positive and stress Y is also what? Positive. And you know what positive means. So they're in what? Tensile. The other one is also in what? Tensile. Okay. And we are going to have this situation where stress X is greater than stress Y. Okay. We're going to have this condition. Okay, this is a condition that I put. Okay, I say that normal stress X is greater than normal stress Y. Then we put this into more circle. Okay, we have this into more circle. So on more circle, we have two axes. One axis belongs to normal stress. Okay. And then the vertical axis that you see over here is labeled as our shearing stress. Okay, so we have a normal stress. And we have shearing stress. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger because I need to write quite a big of thing. So the element, so in your shear stress, I want you to have the habit to write this sign also, okay? The shear over here, I want you to draw a sign clockwise. Okay. On the bottom part is anti-clockwise. So you guys will ask me, Eugene, clockwise what? Anti-clockwise what? Okay. So clockwise is element rotation. Okay. Anti-clockwise is the element rotation. Later on, I will highlight what does it actually mean. But for now, I want you all to get familiar with the mo uh, circle uh, axis. Okay is that on the top, the shear is the element rotate clockwise, at the bottom, element rotate anti-clockwise, and the center is always zero. Okay. Right, so for this case, I'm going to draw, I'm going to lay, I, I go back to the element, I'm going to label this as X, and I'm going to label this as point Y. And from here, we are going to draw the, we're going to draw 
two lines. So this line belongs to our stress X line. Okay. And this line over here belongs to our stress Y. Right. So this is our stress X line, normal stress X line. Over here is our normal stress Y line. Okay. So from here, we realize that on the element to the mole circle, this is our point X. Sorry. Is that that point over there is our point X. And this point over here is our point Y. Y. So you can see a point X and our point Y. And then from here, we also know, okay, what do we know? We also know that exactly down here, where this line is, this is our point zero, point O. And the distance to point O the distance to point O this is our stress what? Average. Okay. So our stress average is equal to stress X Plus by stress y divided by 2. You don't need to remember this formula. It's so easy by looking at the circle. Okay? You don't see the circle yet. So from here, you need a mathematical set. Okay, You need a compass. And this is your mole circle. Okay? That is your mole circle. And this circle over here is the circle for the XY plane. Okay, that circle belongs to the XY plane. And for sure, this is also known as your in plane. So when you see in your homework, they'll ask you what is the max, what is the maximum in plane shear stress? You know what? they are looking for. Okay. Right. So let's do another. Uh, I'll let you guys finish copying first. Okay. How uh, those of you down here and online, have you all learned more circle before? No, right? Some of you have not seen more circle before. How about online? Have you all seen more circle before anyone? No? Okay. It's not difficult. Okay. You, you, you just follow my technique. It's not difficult. You don't follow my method. It's very difficult. Okay. So this method that I'm teaching you all now can use for 2D, 3D mole circle, okay? And you can solve question number one to any questions on, on the textbook using mole circle. You just use this technique. It always works. So far, I've not come to a situation where it does not work yet. Okay. Now, we are going to do another situation now. Okay, so let me... Copy, let me paste. So the next situation that we're going to have, right? You can see this happen, okay? So you can see that stress X now is in compression. Stress Y now, it's in tension. Okay. So as I say, we are focusing on normal stress. Okay. So you know that stress X with the orientation of the arrow is negative. Negative, as you know, is known as compression. 
and stress y is what? Positive. So this is in what? Tensor. Now I've introduced your the shear, yes or no? For this case, there's no shear. So shear xy is equal to shear yx. They are both equal to what? Zero. That's why I did not draw anything. Okay. So if I don't draw anything, or you see a question does not have anything, means the shear is equal to what? Zero. So for the one on top, it's also the same. Shear xy is equal to shear yx. They are all equal to what? Zero. Okay. So now we are going to sketch more circle. Okay. So this is our normal stress, zero, our shear stress, element rotate clockwise element rotate anti-clockwise. I want you all to have a habit of drawing the elements in a clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. Then from here, I want to elaborate something else. On the right hand side, where the normal stress is all positive, is all in what? Tensile. Sorry, on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, the normal stress is negative, so it means it's under what? Compression. Okay. So for this case, we have our normal stress in the X, which is under compression. And on the Y, it's in tension. So as usual, you label this point X, you label this point Y. Okay. So on most circle, this is your point X, and this is your point Y. y. So from here, you can, you can determine your st stress average. Okay. So this will be your point O. And this distance from here to here is your stress average. So the st stress average is measured from what? Zero, okay, as you can see. So now I'm going to draw, or we are going to draw our mole circle. Okay. So as usual, this circle belongs to your X, Y plane. Then the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to introduce you to a, a new term. And it's this height over here. Okay. So this is known as your tau max. That is known as your what? The tau max. And tau max is also known as the radius of the circle. Okay. How max is radius of the circle? Column prick is just 
I just put it over there. There's nothing to do with the quadrant. Taran Prick asked, can you explain why?